We visit the famous Osborne House. Unfortunately, as this is still winter, many areas are not open to the public. However, this does not dampen our day as there is still plenty to see and enjoy. This one. That's Queen Victoria's collar dog. Her magic is your. portrait of the Queen herself. Queen Victoria and Prince Albert bought the Osborne estate on the Isle of Wight in 1845 as a seaside retreat. They created a private home away from court life enjoyed by the family for over 50 years until Prince Albert's death in 1861. After his death Osborne House was one of the few places the Queen found solace. Victoria died at Osborne House at the age of 81 on Tuesday the 22nd of January 1901 at half past six in the evening. Her son and successor King Edward VII and her eldest grandson Emperor Wilhelm II of Germany were at her deathbed. The audience room was where the ministers of the Privy Council gathered before their meetings with the Queen in the council room. The council room was used most frequently for entertaining, including dancing, games of charades and drama. It was here that Queen Victoria gave Prince Albert the title of Prince Consort and in 1878 where Alexander Graham Bell demonstrated his new invention, the telephone. The drawing room is decorated sympathetically to the 1890s with yellow satin curtains, full length mirrors and a pair of cut glass chandeliers that were given to Queen Victoria for one of her birthdays. I'm intrigued by the ceiling. <laughs> yeah, and the, the, the ceiling and the chandeliers. Okay, so the candelabras are original gifts to Queen Victoria from Prince Albert, but the chandeliers are replicas because Queen Mary took them. The billiard room was where the men retired after dinner and could sit on a raised bench while the Queen remained in the next room. The Durbar Room was designed by Rudyard Kipling's father Lockwood and master carver Bahi Ram Singh. This unique room is detailed with intricate Indian style plasterwork to reflect Queen Victoria's status as the Empress of India.
The room was the venue for ceremonial dinners for European royalty and the backdrop to Queen Victoria's theatrical entertainments. Eleven years after she became the Empress of India, Queen Victoria decided to employ Indian servants. This was the start of a growing fascination with India. Abdul Kareem was the first of the Queen's Indian servants and the two struck up an unlikely friendship. Within two years, he became the Queen's Munshi, her teacher, and taught her Urdu. He later became her official Indian secretary. Their friendship caused turmoil within the royal household. However, Victoria defended Abdul Kareem against all opposition. Their friendship was portrayed in the 2017 film Victoria and Abdul, starring Judy Gench and Ali Faisal. In 1901, Queen Victoria's body lay in state in the dining room before being taken to Windsor Castle. The garden terraces complement the Italianite style of the house with striking flowering displays throughout the year and breathtaking views across the grounds and beyond towards the sea. So we're in the gardens and this is a view that you would get literally stepping out beautiful garden and you've got the view across the Solent itself as we're leaving I'm not quite sure where to go now we want to go to see the don't want to do the gardens because we're limited for time we're going to go and do the Swiss cottage because I'm interested in the Swiss cottage and her bathing section where she used to bathe to get into the sea. I think I've just missed them ringing. Yeah, couldn't get the camera out in, in quick enough. Swiss Cottage was built for the royal children in their own garden. And there's writing up there from German. I can't make it out. But it's closed today, so you can't go in. Hidden behind a belt of trees, this provided a private space for the royal children to learn about the world around them, playing at being adults, learning cookery and gardening. They grew fruit and vegetables in the gardens. This produce was assessed by the undergardener, Mr. Warren. If it was good enough, Albert would pay market rate to the child who had grown it. Okay, if I focus, you can actually see their initials on there. So this is the walk that the children would take going from Swiss Cottage down to the beach. And uh, along here you'd find some of their favourite trees. Um, so it's quite educational. And now um, you've got rare animals that you wouldn't necessarily find on the Isle of Wight but because of the trees and everything that's been planted here. Um, you may be lucky enough to see them. So next time she's a tree guide for that. A tree guide for that. Can you hear my children in the background discussing the cork tree and how bottles of wine lids have got cork in them and they're saying trees die for my wine bottle and you've got Osborne House in the background there. And it's a beautiful cork tree. So weird. 
Prince Albert supervised the design of the formal gardens around the house and the remodelling of the parkland and pleasure grounds. Prince Albert was a great believer in the health giving benefits of the sea. This was important in choosing Osborne House as a family home. Queen Victoria enjoyed a dip in the sea. To protect the Queen's modesty, a special bathing machine was constructed so that she could change without being observed. As we can see here, the actual carriage where Queen Victoria used to change and bathe is under canopies to protect it from the elements. Um, it's, we're not in season. The weather's still quite choppy and extreme. I'm sure in the summer it'll be open and we can have a look at it properly. And the alcove is over there. And we can see just in the background Osborne House, just through the trees there. I'm too tired, I think I'm going to get the bus. do the gift shop there's loads of things that we've uh, seen that we want to get if you wish to stay at Osborne house overnight there are two rental cottages available on the grounds if you've enjoyed my videos Please hit the like button, subscribe and the bell so you can be notified. In Jolly Genius' world, we make the most of our opportunities.